Hey everybody, I'm Jordan coming out to you from Sandcraft Motorsports doing a DIY installation video today, working on a 2020 RZR XP2. Let's get started. First step, remove the two mounting 13s from the mounts. And we're gonna do the same on the passenger side. My preferred method to raising the engine is simply using a ratchet strap and any form of support brace to reach both rails of the car. And I strongly advise you to do it this way instead of lifting by the oil pan. So we'll just hoist the engine just like that. We're going to remove our magneto electrical from the motor mount tube and just push it out of the way. That gives us access for our wrench. So now that we have the engine strapped and supported from the exhaust manifold, you can see how we got a little bit of a lift out of the engine tube. And it's the same on the driver's side. So what we'll do is start by working our way from the outside in with the motor mount first. Moving inward, we're going to do the motor mount bolts. It's a nut and bolt, both 15 millimeter. So we have the four bolts removed from the tube and I like to leave just the hanger bolts just loose but installed and the engine mount tube is free to come out. And with our new Sandcraft motor mount tube, a reverse removal procedure to install. You want to make sure that you have all bolts in place before tightening any at all. With the kit, there comes four aluminum washers for the motor mounts, one for either side. And for the transmission mount comes two steel washers. Make sure you don't mix them up. With the new kit, you do have to reuse your old hardware your through bolt and your two mounting bolts. And we just knock them through the assembly line washers with a soft chase hammer. A little bit of thread locker and we're ready to go. We're going to leave this hand tight until we're ready to lower the engine. With both motor mounts still loose, we're going to lower the engine. That way we can shift the engine to align the mounts. So our motor actually came right back down into position, but sometimes what you have to do is give it a little shake to make sure that these alignment dowels drop down into the frame and it's actually flush flat up against the frame right here. You do not want to tighten the mounting bolts if it's standing on the legs. We can tighten our 15 to 40 foot pounds and our 13 mounting to 18 foot pounds. And we'll repeat for this side, making sure that the mount is all the way down on the frame in the dowel alignment holes, tightening our mounting bolts before our through bolt. Moving to the back of the vehicle, we're going to start to replace our transmission mount. This model is a turbo, so it actually utilizes three mounting bolts, whereas if it's a non-turbo NA car, it only has a top and bottom, so they're very similar. We're going to start by extending our 13 in from the passenger side with a 13 wrench on the driver's side to remove our intercooler bolt. On a 1K, it would just be a plenum bolt. We can remove our transmission mount bolt that is a 15 millimeter. Remove the transmission mount mounting bolts from the frame using a 13 millimeter. Now that all of the nuts are off of the transmission mount, I'm going to remove it from the driver's side of the vehicle. Again, we're going to remove the factory mounting bolts and reuse them on the new transmission mount. And we do not need to keep the assembly line washers. So now it's time for the steel washers that come in the kit for the transmission mount. You just slide the first washer over the bolt and in with the bracket to hang it on the mount. To install our remaining bolts to hang the transmission from the bracket, just use a small pry bar or a large screwdriver and we can lift up on the case 
through the shear plate here. This is okay to use the transmission case halves. Do not use anything underneath at any point. You can potentially crack the case. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a lift, start to align my transmission case bolts. Now we're going to tighten our transmission hanger bolts to 18 foot-pounds and our intercooler bolt to 12. Tighten the motor mount through bolt to 40 foot-pounds. Now is a good time to go back and double check your work. Thank you for watching. Follow us on social media and enjoy the ride.